Cancers! Welcome to your love reading from today, July 16th to the 23rd of July for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Cancers, <laughs> tapping into your energy made me a little nervous. You guys are really quiet right now. I actually feel like you're holding a lot back um, verbally and also emotionally, actually. I guess going hand in hand. You're, you're just not talking a lot. You're not talking a whole lot. You're not sharing a whole lot. You're keeping tight-lipped about something, okay? It's making people nervous. They actually showed me very calm waters, like oceans with no waves. They showed me lakes. It's like, ooh, okay. So on the surface, Cancer, to most people, <laughs> to most people who don't know any better, it looks like there's nothing going on, but there's a hell of a lot going on under the surface. You either know something or can feel something. For those who don't actually know, like the, for those who haven't gotten news about things going on in your life or people in your life or just, you know, whatever's making you go into this mode, um, you can feel it intuitively. And so you're just, you're just keeping tight lipped, right? You like that phrase, still waters run deep. <laughs> yes, they do, Cancer. And they're running deep in you and there's a lot going on internally. I can feel it, but you're holding back a lot. So just be careful with that. I can feel that you're doing that as a strategy for yourself in this situation. Um, almost like it's better I don't, it's better like, to be seen and not heard right now is kind of the stance that you're taking cancer and i think you're doing that so you can actually gain more information from the people around you um and even just intuitively it is just to see what you can overhear it's like you know people who take on that stance right of like it's better to be seen and not heard you actually learn a lot right by observing and by listening to what people are saying around you about you sometimes people forget you there and then you know you get some more information right the less you talk the more you learn this is definitely what I've, at least what I've learned throughout the course of my life. In Cancer, you're really, you're really taking that on. Something has shifted. Something has happened. In Cancers, you're just, mm, you're, you're not sharing. You're not sharing, and it's definitely part of your strategy, okay? And I feel like you're really feeling the people out in your life, but it's making people in your life very nervous because they also know you, right? And they know something's up. They know something's up. Something else that was really interesting they showed me like a really old parchment, you know, something that I'm sure is very similar. I've never seen the Declaration of Independence. I think it's in Philly, if I'm not mistaken, right? I could be wrong, but I think it's in a museum in Philly somewhere. But anyway, that kind of parchment is what they showed me. And it did make me think of the Declaration of Independence, actually, which I know we just had 4th of July a little while ago. Um, oh, okay. This one thing, and then we'll get back to you, Cancers. I just realized. So... The United States claimed independence July 4th, 1776, right? And that was, hold on, can I do some quick math here? I'm a little tired. Let me see. What, is that about 240 some years ago? Hold on a second. <laughs> Let me do some quick math. One, two, 243, 243 years ago. And doesn't Pluto have an orbit of like, 248 years or 246? I don't know. There's something there, guys. I kind of want to fall down this rabbit hole, but we're doing your reading, so maybe I'll do a video on this later. There, I, I feel, okay, yeah. I There's something about Pluto and the United States. I don't know what that's about, but that just came in really strong. I think that's also why it reminded me of the Declaration of Independence. Because, yeah, I think that's, that's all it takes for Pluto to make a full orbit all the way back into, you know, an, or, an orbit. Like, what, <laughs> one full cycle. Um... From the day that the Declaration of Independence was signed. Huh. Okay. That's definitely something to dive into. But not right now, because we're focusing on you. Um, so Cancers, when it when I was shown that, it's definitely I'm getting old contract energy, right? Old contracts, old stuff you signed up for, signed up with, something that's been set in stone for quite a while for yourself. I feel like you're looking at that. I feel like you're examining it and realizing you know what, this needs to change or there's something funky here that I don't like. It's one or the other. And I think that's why you're being very tight lipped right now and why you're even very much in a strategy, um, strategy mode and being very much an observer. But I do feel like there's a lot of stuff going on emotionally on the inside for you guys, Cancer. Okay, so just be mindful of that because if you don't get stuff out and it bothers you, it can start to fester and it create energetic blocks and you don't need that. I know it's a strategy because I can feel it. But just be mindful of that, okay? So let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy, with the Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Seven of Pentacles, more Taurian energy. 
King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra, with the Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. So not too many cards come out in the pre-shuffle, but definitely, mm, there's, de yeah, I definitely feel like something's been going on here, Cancer, that really hasn't been going over well with you, and you've kind of reached your limit. You've kind of reached your limit. There's definitely been a delay in progress and forward movement. I'm getting, actually, I'm getting a lot of frustration from you now. I'm getting a lot of frustration. It could be affecting your money, but if anything, it just feels like you feel kind of alone in it. And whatever this delay has been in your progress, you feel very much alone, but you feel like it's because of other people. Like other people have kind of gotten in your way or created some blocks and obstacles for you. That's definitely how that's feeling. And if it's revolving around just a relationship, like between you and one person, whether it's family, friends, or a lover, the communication's been way off. And this is definitely Mercury retrograde designated card. <laughs> I do believe this is Mercury Sag energy, but Eight of Wands in reverse always comes out during Mercury, Mercury retrograde reading. So not surprised that's out here. So it could just be Mercury at play for you, affecting your communication with your loved ones. Keep in mind, guys, Mercury goes into Cancer on the 19th. So you guys are going to be feeling that during this time, okay? But yeah, I'm feeling for those like where it's between you and, another, and one other person. Miscommunication has really um, hit you guys hard hit you guys really hard and you're frustrated you're so frustrated and with the seven of pentacles energy it's like i'm getting that like that old parchment kind of energy again where you're like okay i know i signed up for this i know i signed up for this or i know i signed up for this relationship or what have you or this deal this this job but this ain't working for me and it's like you're looking at the fine print you're looking at the fine print some of you might be actually wanting to sign contracts just be careful because it is oh focus Okay, just be careful because it is Mercury retrograde if you are setting a contract. Um, but you're looking at the fine print. Some of you are realizing you got a real raw deal, okay? Some of you are realizing I really should have read the fine print sooner. Some of you are realizing this is not the person I, I thought they were. This is not the friend I thought they were. This is not the the lover I thought they were. Um, mm, I was about to go into fan, a family example, and then I heard secrets. Hmm. Hmm. You might be finding out about some family secrets, Cancer, and that also might be why you're being very tight-lipped here, and you're feeling so much emotionally, but you're not communicating it. Oh, Cancer. Yeah, for those in that family secret pool of energy, uh, just be mindful that if you let, like I said, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but if you let it fester, it will create an energetic block, and especially if it's around family secrets, you got to deal with it. Like, even if it's not your secret, even if it's something that indirectly affects you, it's clearly affecting you, right? So just make sure you're working through that. And then we have this King of Swords energy with the Nine of Wands. Um, I actually really like this because Cancer, I feel like this is you on the defensive. This is you that still waters run deep as a strategist. You're thinking very rationally, but at the same time, you're holding on to shit emotionally, okay? So just be mindful of that. But you are in very much a defensive mode. And, and it's funny because with this Nine of Wands, I always get that sense of watching just because the illustration. Uh, but because of that, my guides always give that to me now when there is a little bit of that. You are observing, like I said. You're totally observing the situation and observing people, seeing how they're reacting and seeing what they're saying, listening to what they're saying. And it's helping you kind of put your strategy together for whatever strategy you need to do and either to get out of the situation, improve the situation, deal with the situation, okay? It's gonna be different for everybody. Some of you are le really leaving situations behind while others, you're just kind of tweaking it, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, Go ahead and check out the link below. I highly encourage it because I've been getting a lot of repeat questions of basics. So definitely check out that video, okay? It'll answer a lot of your questions. Any messages for cancer? Regarding love? From now until the 23rd. Any messages for cancer? Regarding love? From now until the 23rd. So I think I've said this before. So when guides give visuals to people, um, it's in a way that they will really clearly understand the message to be able to communicate it effectively. So sometimes they'll show personal things, even if it's a message for the collective. <laughs> I just saw my grandmother. <laughs> and my grandmother used to do this thing. And it, it became like a not like a running joke. It just became a reference in my own family. My grandmother used to really pinch her lips like 
like really tight, like really, really tight, um, when she was very displeased, okay? <laughs> she was very displeased. And it's funny because my mom is starting to do that now. But anyway, that's how you're feeling, Cancer. You're very displeased by someone or situation going on around you. Uh, that was funny. I can't believe they showed me that. Like, wow, okay. I just, I've got to share this with you. It's a little personal. My grandfather's one of my guides and he's literally laughing. He's literally laughing right now. <laughs> he's the one who showed me that. My, my grandfather's quite quite a jokester. Anyway, any messages for cancer? Regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for cancer? Regarding love from now until the 23rd? Okay. Any messages for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd? Come on now. Cancers, I know you don't want to say it a whole lot, but come on, you got to talk. You got to talk a little bit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy, strong ass family and home vibration I'm feeling right now. <sighs> you want a happy home. And I'm not surprised, Cancer. That's like, that should be the Cancer motto. I want a happy home, <laughs> right? I want a happy family dynamic. That's, that's definitely what you're craving right now. You're craving that. And I think you're realizing that that is one of your main goals in life. If you haven't realized it already, if you've already known that about yourself, it's just really being highlighted right now. And I'm not surprised because with this eclipse energy, I did the video last night. Go ahead, check it out. I think it's actually really informative. We have a lot of Cancerian energies um, in opposition to Capricorn energies, actually. So that's going to be the biggest challenge of this time period, all the, you know, and honestly for the next six months, but we're really going to be feeling it for this last half of July. And so everyone is going to be in this state of like, I know this is what I'm used to and this is what I've built and like career and money. They're going to be thinking about that, but they're going to be so pulled to emotional fulfillment and fa and family dynamics and all that Cancerian loving energy and Cancer, you are definitely going to be feeling this really strong considering the full moon uh, that we just had, or no, not just had, is having, we're having today, um, is in Capricorn, your counterpart, and we already have that new moon in Cancer, right? So you guys are going to be feeling it really, really strong here, okay? And that's definitely on your mind. Any other messages for Cancer? Ooh. Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Sagittarian energy. Again, that delay in progress towards that, towards that idea, towards that goal. And a lot of, I'm getting a hell of a lot of miscommunication going on here, Cancer, a lot. I think that's also another reason you might be staying a little tight-lipped. You might be feeling like maybe you're not communicating effectively right now. And that is definitely the case for a lot of people, especially as Mercury goes into Cancer while retrograding for the rest of July on the 19th. You're really going to feel that. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of miscommunication that is kind of led to a lot of frustration for you and led to a point where it's like, I'm just not going to say shit. I'm just, I'm just not going to say shit. I'm just going to sit here and listen and, and see what else I can come up with. It's like, you're, you're kind of tired of trying to communicate is what I'm getting. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Taurian energy. Who are, okay. For a lot of you where this is between you and one other person, for some, it's like with your entire family, um, entire family extended family close family family members right some of you it's just between you and family members but to where this is between you and another person whether it's a friend or a lover you feel like your your words have fallen on deaf ears my words have fallen on deaf ears they don't care they haven't put in much effort they, they're not trying to really they're not trying to communicate with me effectively is how you're feeling any other messages for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd Any messages for Cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd? Yeah, I'm feeling strongly if this is between you and a lover, it's really, really kind of put a weight on you, more so than those where it's between a friend or family members. Wow. Okay. So now let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. 
like it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy with the Chariot, Cancerian energy. And then we have Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. Overall, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Underneath that, we do have the Three of Swords, but I'm not worried about that. This is Libra energy because underneath that, we've got the Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. So whatever pain, discomfort, I'm feeling more discomfort and irritation with this energy, actually, more than anything. Some of you, there's some pain, especially those where this is purely romance. Um, but whatever this discomfort and pain is, is, it's being done away with because we got that six of swords right underneath that and it, we're being presented with the ace of pentacles as your overall energy so cancers soak this up for a second okay soak this up a minute this is your overall energy for honest it is a time period up until the 23rd but it's energy it can't be contained and some of you're going to work through this energy a little slower than others so honestly consider this your overall energy for the rest of july and then whatever comes through in the next reading for you guys for the remainder of july okay this is a whole new beginning, something that's very promising, something that's feeling very, very deserved, deserved, something you feel you really, really earned, okay? Some of you could be a big, big ass payout, honestly. <laughs> Some of you could be a promotion, but it's something that you worked for and something that you really deserve and something that's going to bring you stability and a lot more happiness, okay? Which is also the theme of this eclipse right now. But with this energy that we're ending on, this Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot and the Nine of Cups, you're heading towards your emotional fulfillment. Again, very much the theme of this eclipse. But it looks like you're leaving behind... How do I say this? Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a committed energy. It's usually someone who's in a relationship who's not single. Nine of Cups is more a single energy, and it looks like that's what you're heading towards. So if you are in a relationship, it looks like you're either just heading more into like solo mode, could even be, some of you could even be deciding to break up with someone or leave someone behind because it's for your best interest to get your true happiness and a really awesome uh, new start, stable start, promising start. Um, others, it could also just be gaining the confidence to do it right? Working through your frustration and whatever it is that you've come into knowledge about that's upsetting you clearly that you're feeling the need to strategize away, away, away from Jesus. Strategize a method. Why can't I speak? A method, a method away from it, right? A path. Thank you, Jesus. A pathway away from it, right? Either way, it's about your happiness, solo happiness, not collective happiness, solo happiness so just take that as it resonates all right so let's unpack this a little further um yeah we got to look at this ten of cups this is this is exactly what you have on your mind like i said it's like one of your ultimate goals in life it's something that you really are trying to prioritize and if you're not it's just on your mind very very heavily and i'm just gonna scoop this up because i just realized how low it is sorry <laughs> my bad guys <laughs> all right let's use the gilded tarot deck for this one tell me about the ten of cups for Cancer. Then we're going to look at this Eight of Wands on the verse because that's a very strong energy in your reading. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Cancer, regarding love from now until the 23rd. <laughs> Page of Pentacles is the first card out. I almost feel like you're making a promise to yourself, Cancer. Yep, Cancers, for some of you, I'm actually getting a promise to yourself here. Um, a promise to make the right decisions to get to that point, healthy decisions, healthy decisions and healthy moves in order to get to that Ten of Cups energy. Interesting. Let's see what else we get. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Cancer. Especially, um, okay, especially for Cancers who grew up in a really dysfunctional household, you really are making, or really promising yourself that it's not going to be like that for you when you create a family. Tell me about Ten of Cups. For Cancer, regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Cancer. Oh man, yeah. 
Toy of the Ten of Cups for Cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd. Cancer, you could definitely have children. They just got another page out here. Tell me about Ten of Cups for Cancer. Okay. So now we have Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. And then we have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy and the Page of Wands coming out here. Overall for the Ten of Cups, we have... The tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Underneath that, we do have an emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy here. Someone who um, holds a lot of power, rank, could be a father figure, a patriarchal figure. Someone who could be CEO, manager, judge, lawyer, um, that sort of energy. Someone who has power. Okay, someone who has power. <sighs> Cancer, yeah, this is really on your mind because there's definitely been a tower moment regarding an emperor-like energy. Whether it was your own um, partner, your own parent, um, family member, your boss, whatever it is, it's really made you call into question your family values and what you really want for yourself as far as family and home are concerned, right? And here's you literally making that promise to yourself because this is the energy that you're feeling after that tower, that Queen of Cups in a verse with the Knight of Pentacles in a verse. This is a lot of hurt, Okay. This is a lot of hurt and, and also recognizing, wow, okay, whatever my family values have been, they need to be improved upon. They need to be improved upon. They can be improved upon. I want better for myself. I want better for my family and I will do better. I will do better. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands. This is um, realizing that you can improve upon the investments you've made so far regarding family dynamics and the way that you see family and also getting that um, inspired energy to get back on the right track regarding that. And I'm not saying that you have a shitty family. I'm not saying that, you, that you're gonna make a bad family or you feel like you have a bad family situation. It's just about improving upon what you already have and what you already know, right? It doesn't mean that you're a bad parent or that you are, are part of a bad system in your family. All it means is that even if it's good, it can be better, right? It's just improving, nothing wrong with that. Doesn't mean you're starting off bad, okay? I just don't want you guys to get perturbed by that message here there's something else going on with this page of wands though i feel like someone is communicating with you but it's a very kind of like low level communication someone who doesn't think things through someone who's very impulsive in their communication very impulsive in their communication but also kind of immature in their communication there's something going on there i'm gonna use the kipper deck really quick on this tell me about the page of wands for cancer jesus that was quick all right so let's see what this first card is concern with the energy of 33 okay so whatever this communication is it's concerning and also like i said it's you realizing right? The improvements that could be made because you are concerned after this tower moment because it's made you realize some things. Tell me more about this page of wands. I do feel like this is actual communication coming in though for some of you. Tell me about page of wands. What's this communication for those who are receiving communication? Well, <laughs> that doesn't help. Message of concern. <laughs> concern and message of concern. Okay, well, yes. All right. Anything else? Tell me more about this communication. They might be very vague, guys, because it might be very different for all of you who are gaining communication here. But if for those who are gaining communication from a person, it's that energy that I described. All right, one last go, and then we'll move on. Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Oh, mm, yeah. Family room. 21 breaking down to a three. This is all about family, family issues, family matters, like I said. So it's it's a little cyclical and it is a little vague. Like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. But this is also a timeline energy of 24 hours, two months out of this reading. OK, so it is good that this one came out to give a little bit more of a timeline for when this communication will come through for those who are gaining communication um, and not just having that self-realization, right, that idea. And on the bottom, we do have sudden wealth with the energy of 11. Right. So I like that because. 
even if we get news that's a little off-putting or even if we come into realizations that are upsetting, it only leads to better things, guys. It only leads to better things because you have the full picture and full understanding, right? All right, so let's keep it moving. I'm curious about this Eight of Wands in reverse where you feel like communication from your end is falling on deaf ears, all right? So let's see what this is about. Where's my writer deck? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Staring me in the face. All right. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse. For Cancer. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. And then we'll look at the chariot and then we'll pull some advice. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. <laughs> Damn. Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be past life soulmate karmic energy. Some of you feel like the past is holding you back. Honestly. Some of you feel like some childhood issues are holding you back. People from your past are holding you back. A soulmate is holding you back. This could all be communication between you and just a soulmate. And it's very much miscommunication. It's causing some very... Um, unpleasant energy for you again um, that's why I'm like that's why I feel like you're just like you know what fuck it what else can I say at this point tell me about eight of wands in reverse tell me about eight of wands in reverse for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd I'm getting a little bit of a download uh for some of you cancers you might have tried to communicate to a family member that you have a long-standing issues with going back to childhood and it did not go well it didn't go well, and that's why you're kind of festering with this energy, and you're also just done trying to talk um, and making it's also calling into question how you see family, what family means to you, what family is, and what's really going to make you happiest regarding family issues and family matters. Um, so I'm sorry if it, that it didn't go well for those in that boat. I've been there. I've been there. I know what that feels like. Uh, tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse for Cancers regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse for Cancers regarding love from now until the 23rd. Oh, Cancer. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Uh, it's left you feeling very much at a loss. And especially for those where you had a conversation with a family member, trying to work through issues with them, your own childhood issues. First of all, those childhood issues have really held you back, uh, first and foremost. And secondly, with this miscommunication with them, it's almost made you feel like, wow, is this ever going to get resolved? Am I ever going to resolve this issue? I, can I actually resolve this issue without having to deal with them? And you can, Cancer. You can. You absolutely can. It's harder, but you can. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love from now until the 23rd. Oh, and see, look at you. Look at you. Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Don't give up the fight. You're not going to give up the fight. You're not going to give up the fight for your peace and sanity, okay? And as you shouldn't. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this. Overall energy for the Eight of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles. Underneath that, we do have Judgment. Okay, you're getting a gift from Spirit. Straight up, you're getting a gift from Spirit for your efforts, especially those that try to communicate with a family member. This could also be between you and a lover, so don't get me wrong, but I'm just feeling that family energy really strong. Um, you're getting a gift from, from Spirit for your efforts. You might not feel like it, you might not feel like it, but you are. You totally are. Um, especially because you decide to go into that resilient warrior energy, right? Like, like you know what? I'm going to handle this. I'm going to think of a strategy to get away from this situation, to get out of this way of thinking, to change my perspective on family, and to get to that Ten of Cups that I know is really important for me on a personal level, right? You know that. You know that about yourself, and because you've... My shirt is stuck. Hold on. <laughs> that was weird. Um, and because you went into fighting mode, fighting for what's right for you, your ultimate happiness, you're going to get a gift for it. You're going to get compensated. Okay? <laughs> compensated for your efforts here. So let's move on. 
to the nine of pentacles in reverse the chariot and the nine of cups i'm really curious about the chariot the chariot's going to tell us a whole lot about this forward movement some of you it's an escape from a relationship some of you it's it's leaving family behind others you're just trying to tweak your own family dynamic and your own family perspective your own perspective on family dynamics okay let's see what deck i want to use let's go with legacy let's go with legacy for the chariot time with the chariot For cancer regarding love oh okay time with the chariot for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd time with the chariot for cancer why is sorry my face is so itchy all of a sudden time with chariot for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd Okay. Oh, very nice. Devil in reverse Capricorn energy. Please focus. There we go. Releasing from the releasing from any toxic bonds is actually what I'm getting. Toxic connections, toxic connections with family. First and foremost, toxic connections with you and your lover, toxic connections with fa with uh, friends or anyone from your soul tribe. Disconnecting from that because it doesn't serve you. That's going to be a huge weight lifted off of you, Cancer, a huge weight. And remember, I do feel this energy of going from committed to single. So just keep that in mind for those who are already gone teetering in their relationships. Yeah, see, two of cups in reverse. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy. Someone's definitely leaving a relationship behind. Something that was toxic, something that was holding you back, and you came into this realization after this tower. Okay, whatever the tower was for you. Oh, yeah, queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. Cutting the shit out. You're cutting it out. You're cutting it out and you're breaking free. You're breaking free from family trauma. You're breaking free from old perspectives on family and love and home that just haven't served you, including breaking away from any um, relationships that are enabling that, right? Tell me more about the chariot for cancer regarding love. Even if it hurts, you're doing it because you know it's better for you in the long run. Tell me about the chariot for cancer regarding love from now until the 23rd. Oh, I love it. Oh, can't pick it up. Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. A lot of you might even be traveling or ac moving actual houses in doing this, okay? Overall energy, we do have the Nine of Wands in reverse Sagittarian Energy. You're not putting up the fight anymore with them. It's like with that, yeah, I'm feeling them. I think you're going to be cutting out a lot of people. Um, you put up the fight for when you had to. And when you realized, you know what? I'm cutting my losses. I'm cutting my losses so I don't have to be in this mode anymore. I feel like it's added a lot of stress to your life, including some anxiety as well to your life, especially those where you're cutting away family members. You're just done. You're like, I need to live a life of freedom and happiness where I don't have to worry about this person, that person, you know, and the drama that comes with it. Especially those where this is a romantic relationship where you thought you were going to have a family with them. Like maybe you thought you were going to move in with them or get married to them. And you're just like, wow, this is way more toxic than I thought it was. This is not what I picture a happy home or happy family to be. A lot of harsh realizations are coming forward, Cancer, for a lot of people. And because of Cancerian energies at play, especially with Capricorn, your counterpart, like I said, you're, this is going to hit you hard. But in a good way, in a really good way. Look at what you're ending ending with. That's what you're ending with. That's what you're ending with. And that's beautiful. And it's totally a gift from spirit. Oh, Jesus. It's totally a gift from spirit for your efforts. Okay? By the way, underneath the Nine of Wands. Oh, yeah. The High Priestess. Piscean Energy. Also, Gemini. A lot of intuition. Okay? A lot of intuition at play from the Moon Energy. That's really helping you make these moves. Oh, Cancer. It's good. It's all for the better. Okay? I know some of you don't want to hear some of this, but it really is all for the better. All right, let's get some advice on the board using Spirit Animal Deck. If I could shuffle. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? 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 Okay. Any 
Any advice for me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I love it. Starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities. 59 breaking down to a five. Change. This is a lot of change. You do have the tower on the board as well, but you've got a lot of options, man. You got a lot of pathways you can go and you know that. You know, it's like, you know, once you break free from what is not part of your new take on what a healthy family dynamic is or a healthy home dynamic is or a healthy love dynamic is, once you, once you to break away from anything that's prohibiting you from getting that nine of cups, 10 of cups energy, you're going to realize that there's a lot of different paths you can take to get there when you don't have anything holding you back, right? So just know that cancer. So if any of you are having hesitation, on breaking away, just know that you're gonna have a hell of a lot more options than you realize because when you don't have any restraints or constraints or restrictions, the world is your oyster, quite, quite literally. Any other advice for cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for cancers regarding this spread? Whoa. Okay. Any other advice for cancers regarding this spread? Okay. So I got two other cards out here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. We have brown bear spirit. Take time out with the energy of nine. So completions and dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. You're going to find some har major harmony in your life. It's going to come once you break away from these, again, restrictions, toxicity, things that really prohibit you from getting your full dream of a happy home, happy family, and happy love life, okay? Um, it's funny with that bear spirit, with the take time out, because I actually feel like this is your energy cancer of being so tight-lipped, of, you know, still waters run deep. You know a lot, you're just not saying anything. That's actually what I'm feeling with this energy. And I think that's been the right approach. I feel like you're getting the thumbs up from spirit that that's the right approach here. And I feel like the energy is coming in after you've had a conversation with that family member for those who are going to have that conversation conversation with the family member. Um, others where that's not a conversation that's happening, um, you're intuitively picking up on something or you've gotten news about something and you're someone, excuse me, not something, someone or a situation around your love life your family life or your home life that has been upsetting and you're just not talking about it it's it's the right it's the right approach it's the right approach just be careful to not let it fester if it's really bothering you okay and with dolphin spirit this and that are true this is usually a transition um energy a transition card from point a to point b and that as we change and as we grow we don't necessarily let go of everything Right. And I was kind of actually that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning, <clears throat> excuse me, where I was saying it's not that you're necessarily in a bad family dynamic. You just want to improve it. Right. It's not necessarily that you have bad family perspectives or bad perspective on love and home. You're just improving it. Right. So you have that base, the this and the that you have the base of A and then you're making improvements with the plan B. So it's kind of like a plan A, B, <laughs> right? So again, even if you're going through this change, even if you're taking on some improvements in home, family, and love, it doesn't mean you're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. It doesn't mean you're throwing out everything you know and everything you believe. You're just improving upon it and just know that it doesn't change, you know, it doesn't change who you are to the core. So don't be afraid of this situation panning out or a situation uh transpiring for you because it's going to be great for you and you're still going to have a lot of yourself you know you're still going to have a lot of who you were beforehand okay so don't be afraid of that um overall we have turkey spirit give with grace and gratitude 61 breaking down to a seven i'm getting more of that silence energy um try to make a graceful exit for those who are making an exit Okay, it's going to be a little tough, especially for those who are actually speaking with family members where it's falling on deaf ears and it's not going so well. Try to try to keep your composure as much as possible, especially because we are dealing with very festy, fest, festy, what's festy? Is that the right word? Feisty. Hmm. <laughs> uh, feisty, fiery energies, right? I guess that's, that's what that word was. Feisty and fiery um, energies. Uh, right now okay so it's really easy to lose our composure it's really easy to lose that compassion here so just try as hard as you can to stay grounded in your emotions and stay grounded in your energy during this time okay it's going to serve you well but cancers this is a great read this is not bad news this is good news 
and you're going to get from spirit for your efforts, you're going to get your emotional fulfillment no matter what happens, okay? As long as you stay grounded and as long as you make the right decisions to get to what is really truly emotionally fulfilling for you, you're going to be in a good spot. Okay? All right, Cancers. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.